Commandant General of the Security Outfit, Dr. Dominic I. Ogo, says they were on board to contribute their quota in complementing government effort toward providing security to the citizens, especially at grassroots, where security operatives could not access due to manpower and logistic challenges. That no matter how trained, how reliable, how rich a government is, cannot meet the yearning of every citizen in the country. A lot of people have to come on board to be able to make sure those of them who perhaps, you know, are very violent in the bush, in the creeks, in the corners, the Citizen for Peace and First Aid Mission of Nigeria is programmed to be able to checkmate and reach every corner of the country. Some member of the organization says providing security of life and property should be everyone's business, hence the need for collaborative effort to address the challenge. The objective of this organization is to make sure we fight and see the security of these countries remain tight, able to make sure because we know that the army, the police, the SSS cannot fight this security problem alone. So we are always there to assist them. We being in the grassroots all over, if all the chiefs and everybody are supporting and recognizing and are assisting because we report and we also take, take charge of being able to uh, walk around because these are the things we can abate, we can, we can uh, stop any crime. A leader of the security outfit, Abubakar Abdullahi, called on the public to give maximum cooperation in the fight against criminal elements with a view to support security agencies to guarantee peace and stability of the country. Advice about that they should be helping us with that security matter because even no, no matter police Army and other things is they will not be capable. Sanegarba Hassan Liberty News.